You're still watching Ways Now. International Yoga Day has been celebrated on the 21st of June since its inception in 2015. This day um, is celebrated to mark the importance of physical, mental, and spiritual practice, which was first originally practiced in India. The United Nations suggested the date of 21st of June as it is the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere and carries special significance in many parts of the world. It was considered unanimously by United Nations General Assembly and this year hopes to bring, um, hopes to help maintain health through immunity booster yoga pro protocols. Yeah, so that's why we're focusing on immunity today. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm. it's a very it's a very good time to focus on immunity, considering mm -hmm. what the world is going through yeah, and how we are killing ourselves with vitamin C <laughs> <laughs> and so many other minerals and Madagascar portion and just you guys don't you really don't want you know, to know. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, there's no better time to actually boost your immunity, right? Because we've seen it time and time and again that um, COVID nineteen, yes, is real, is there, but a lot of people that are dying are dying due to complications you know mm -hmm. of already pre-existing health conditions right you know? so imagine if your internal state is healthy weak you, all right you no know, yeah if it's weak it mm -hmm. means you you have a problem but if it is healthy it means you stand the chance of fighting you're good to go yeah fighting the the the, the, the virus right yeah, so Sansi, what did you find for us in the news Yes, today? yes. So um, today being um, Father's Day, there was um, a lot going on online. Typically, it's always like very dramatic. I don't know why Father's Day comes with so much drama, especially from single mothers. One of them being Tonto DK, who put up like um, her post was, I'm in Dabuski, I'm the war, something, something. <laughs> she did it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's not even go into that. So she has this picture um, where she dressed as a man with her son. She's very proud of her son. And I'll applaud her for her. You know, um, moving on to my main story. Mm -hmm. So um, incumbent governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodima, um, there's this viral video of this young uh, boy, Joseph Oluomachi Obara. Mm -hmm. He was singing this Catholic hymn and all that. His voice is just so angelic. So the viral video made its way to the governor's hands and he has decided to adopt him wow. officially as a son and raise him from primary level to um, his dream, which is to be a Catholic priest. So wow. I think that's a beautiful way to commemorate, um, um, celebrate Father's Day. You know, but you know what worries me? Like he does, he has parents. Why, why, why don't you just help him, not adopt him completely? Mm. Like his parents are both alive. Why, 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 why do that? Well, let's watch the video first, then we'll see okay. why. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Like it just it just gets <laughs> such angelic voice and for people who don't understand it well he's saying stuff about the love of god and how god answers prayers when when you pray and how god helps you without even looking to the back and it all just makes you tear up considering oh, the fact that this scary. is this little boy <laughs> hawking and then his whole story like this is just god answering his prayers so yeah. adorable thank you governor hope uh, I, I, I think i think um it's a beautiful thing yeah you know for the first time I support something like this. Why? Because a lot of young people, they want to go into entertainment industry and all of this. this is someone, if you listen to the, I mean, I don't understand the yeah. lyrics, but I'm already emotional. So I can imagine if this boy's um, dream is actualized, the kind of healing he will bring to young people. Mm -hmm. oh. I mean, I mean, hope to people all over the world. Right. I mean, his voice right. is beautiful. So thank you so much to the governor. Mm -hmm. um, 
my story is quite an uh would i call it bittersweet Please you don't know? make me cry because i'm already teary <laughs> so um <laughs> i'll try not to cry again um uh, so the former governor and the current minister for works and housing mm -hmm. um, um Fashola. Fashola, has spoken about ibiduni igodalo um i mean he wrote a very beautiful piece about her he said something um that you know ibiduni i think let me just find it and read it up he said ibiduni lit up lagos um, with beautiful decorations mm -hmm. it says um the late businesswoman and wife of the lagos um, based preacher um, lit up lagos state with beautiful decorations during festive seasons and you know there was something very interesting he said he said um he was besieging um, pastor itwa not to cry for ibiduni because she is a butterfly and according to him, the um, Ibiduni brought color, laughter, and light to every home. Aww. And yes, that she brought a lot of color with her flawless beauty, with her skills, her hard work, and her passion. And he went on to say, at Christmas, she did not only light up um, our state, but she also lit up the lives of millions of children who thronged the beautifully decorated sites that she worked so hard to give us. Her light shone brightly across Lagos from Ikeja to Falomo, Marina and Yaba to mention but a few. Ibiduni has gone to a place where her light is now most needed and she has left us with unforgettable light. Oh, That's such a beautiful piece. A I mean, today is so just beautiful. <laughs> And yeah, well, I do. I think it was under uh, uh, Governor Ambode's regime that the that Christmas the, the lights decorations stopped. stopped. The decorations stopped. Yeah, and she was already celebrating when? that um, the new governor, Governor Songolu, was going was bringing back, mm -hmm. you know, lighting up the Lagos streets and all of that. Sadly, she's not going to be here to see it, but I'm sure she did yeah. uh, uh, light up. Um, um, she did light up Lagos. Mm. I absolutely have to say because during Christmas seasons, aside from the um, the roundabout, popular roundabout mm -hmm. here on the island, there was also um, you know like everywhere all the way from third Malaysia, Milan Bridge, all the way third Milan Bridge. Yeah, everywhere it's was so, so beautiful, beautiful and Christmassy, and you can literally take a yeah. selfie anywhere and just. And you didn't even only at some point it wasn't only Christmas. It was. Um, also the the Muslim festival festival right. she also did that you know and some people were saying interestingly and she's Fashola, so excellent Fashola at what was she a does. Muslim and he he um he did all of that for Lagos but now we now had a Christian governor that stopped it that was you know controversial for you to be a Christian but I mean Ibiduni was such a beautiful she's soul I mean there's nobody spirit. That mm -hmm. has gone on social media. That I mean, that I mean, if you read, there's, uh, there's nothing negative about yeah, her. You like, literally will cry when you. Right. So at some point, I stopped reading. I stopped reading because you know, she's a she's a beautiful. It's exactly song. a week today. Yeah, it's exactly a week. Yeah, today. and um, yesterday she was laid to rest. So, mm. Oof. Oh, well. let's take a breather. Akshay Jane will join us right after the break to discuss yoga. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.